What's going on guys? Christian here with Ford Momentum. What you cannot smell is the fuel smell that I'm smelling. It is caused by something called a fuel injection pulsation damper. This is a new one that I've already put on here on the bank two side. I have one that's leaking and I can smell it in my garage. The other one is right here. I know it's dark, but that's where it's located. So what we're going to do today is we're going to replace that fuel pulsation damper. We're going to re remove all of this and we're gonna pull the fuel rail off as well and we're gonna service the injectors. So you're gonna get kind of a two for one episode here. You can kind of lift this harness up carefully out of the way and then you can start unplugging your injector connections. You basically don't be rough with them, just kind of squeeze gently on the connector itself and then pull it. That will free that connector off the injector. Everything should be pretty accessible here and it should take you down to the point where it's really a matter of disconnecting the fuel rail now and the damper and lifting it up and out of there. So here's the damper as you can see it's wet and that is because there's a screw missing from the top of that damper and it is weeping fuel and that's what I was smelling. Okay since we'll be working around open fuel vapor Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect the negative battery cable. 12 millimeter nuts will break your fuel rail free. That's what I'm doing right now. Try not to drop them down in there. There we go. Driver's side is a lot harder than the other side, just from a room standpoint. So now you should be able to unscrew this damper and pull it straight off the rail. And watch out because there's a couple washers there's a kind of a star washer that's going to be on the top and then there's a different washer on the bottom part and you don't want to lose them if you don't have replacements so here's your damper and as you can see there should be a screw in the top of that and there isn't somebody put in a flathead and it came out this is the one that goes on the bottom of the banjo fitting in between the banjo and the rail once you have the damper off you should be able to get this rail out. Here's the rail. Make sure your injectors all come out, <laughs> of course, along with O-rings and things, and try to avoid dropping a bunch of crap down in there. Pull these out carefully. If you just give them a little twist, they should come right out. So that's what it looks like with the rail gone. And here's the injector, one of them, and then now I'm going to show you how to replace the O-rings and the micro filter baskets using this kit here. You're going to need some of this multi-purpose synthetic grease. This is going to be what you coat your O-rings with. So just a heads up, you need some of that. I'm going to reuse these washers that came off originally. So these are the OEM ones. And the reason I'm going to do that is I, don't, I just don't like these. These are way thicker than this one. The fuel pressure in the system is not that high. We should be okay. I was fine on the bank two side. I never had any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start going injector by injector and showing you guys how to do this. In the top of this injector is something called a micro basket. And it's gonna look something like this. This is a new one. What you need to do to get that out is take a number 10 sheet metal screw and screw it in just a little ways. We're gonna flip this injector over we're going to put it on here and we're going to actually tap it out of there and put the new one in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I got the screw in there. Now I'm going to grab it with the pliers. There it is. Okay, I'm taking all the O-rings off of this now, all the old ones. Okay, they're all off of there. You're gonna hammer in the micro basket into this, the new one. You should be able to drop it into place here at the top and then just very lightly tap on it. Till it's flush. And now for the O-rings. One and two. 
And then you're gonna to wanna to lube those two last O-rings that you just put on with the synthetic grease. And don't forget your protective insulation here. Probably gonna need some new tape. Next injector. Get it prepped. Now I noticed this one is missing an O-ring right here. If I look in the fuel rail, it's sitting right there in the fuel rail. So I'll just be careful of that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get the micro basket off of this one. Get your screw started in there. Don't force it too far. About right there. Should be good. Grab a hold. There it is, right there. That one came out much better than the rest. I know it's hard to see on, on the uh, camera there, but it looks like the micro screen is very dirty. So it's good to replace these. Flush, okay, it's good. injector. Putting the last few of these on. I used the synthetic grease super lube stuff and I greased the o-rings that plug into the fuel rail and obviously plugged all the injectors into it and now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna kind of finagle this thing in while hooking up the banjo for the fuel delivery on the damper there. It's gonna be a little bit of a balancing act but it should go in okay. Just make sure that you don't drop debris into the ports where the fuel injectors go. Okay, injectors are not plugged down in, but they're all aligned. I wanna make sure that I can get this damper on properly here first before I tighten that down. But I put that one washer on the damper and it's gonna go through the banjo and then you're gonna have this washer here, get it exactly in the right spot and make sure you don't drop it. Okay. I know this is probably hard to see. Get it started so that you don't lose any of those things. There we go. It's started and I'm gonna spin it and get it as tight as I can by hand. Okay, it's as tight as I can get it by hand. Let's take a closer look. Now there's your damper right there, sandwiched by those two different washers. All right, and the rail is still loose. On purpose, I left it loose. Don't tighten the rail all the way because this injector here actually is fairly difficult to plug in if you have it tightened down. So I loosened it and was able to get some space that I needed, and now I can tighten the rail down. Coil packs plugged in. few other connectors here that I'm gonna have to deal with in a minute. All in all, it's looking pretty good. Time to plug in the negative. Pretty sure I have everything hooked back up properly. And I'm gonna start it up and look for fuel leaks. Go through and double check all your connections. Make sure your coil packs are all plugged in. Your EVAP system, Everything's in. I'm gonna leave my cover off just for now, just to make sure that there's no fuel leaks, but tools are all moved. Everything's looking pretty good. I think I'll go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. 